Hi and welcome to the video which shows you the last build steps and the first test drives I did with my do-it-yourself RC race boat. I had to do a few steps before the first test run. One was that I added some rails to stabilize the boat for better straight running on the water. But during the test run, I figured out that this was too much. So I cut them down to around one millimeter of height to reduce the effect of the rails because the boat was almost unsteerable. Another modification I had to do is to add a cover for the battery. So if I flip the boat over, I can't lose the battery. What I did is just a simple plastic cover and a one millimeter carbon plate with a small two millimeter screw in it. So I can put in the battery, just pull over the plastic cover and push it into the screw. Then the battery is fixed well, so I can flip over the boat and the battery won't get out of the battery mount. Then I had to do a cover for the electronics. What I did is just a small Velcro and uh, Depron plate with a small frame to fix it in the right position over the electronics. Like this, I just can put it over, push it a little bit on, and then it's well fixed and the electronics are covered. Then I did the, the last plate of Depron in the front to close the front of the boat. This is just fixed with tape just because I had to figure out if I need to add some weight in the front because my CG was way in the back of the boat. So I had to do the first run and check out if the CG is too far in the back. And when I tried the first run, it was actually like this, that the CG was way too much in the back. So I had to add 60 grams of weight to do the second test run and with the 60 gram added to the front the boat was way better leveled on the water that's the way i have to go i had two issues during the maiden run the first is about the cg what i already mentioned and the second is i also had a reverse gear when the prop runs in opposite direction to run the boat backwards there was way too much power on the motor and the boat just pulled down into the water that was not drivable like this. I had to reduce the range of the throttle stick for reverse down to 12%. Like this I can push reverse at the maximum on the stick and the motor still spins pretty slow and the boat goes backwards slow and it's fully controlled. During this first attempt with full throttle backwards the boat sank down into the water and because of the resistance of the water the prop bent extremely and just hit onto the servo arm. The servo arm broke, the prop was damaged, I had to replace the prop, that's the reason why I have a clear colored prop on it. Another modification is that I had to reduce the length of the rod for the servo to the horn to the minimum so it's impossible to get the rods hidden by the propeller. After this issue of the first run I was prepared to go for a second run with new servo arm, everything prepared, new propeller on it, uh, cut it down the rails on the bottom side of the boat. We're gonna have a look now into the driving footage of the second run it's way better, it's not perfect. I'm gonna do some little modifications on the boat for next few test runs, but it worked so far. But I'm down with the throttle on 55% forward throttle, so that the power of the motor and the prop is really way too high. What I'm gonna do is to reduce the diameter of the prop and I'm also gonna pull down the motor in a lower position. The torque of the motor doesn't affect too much on the behavior of the boat. That's gonna be the few next steps for the next test runs. But now let's jump right into the footage of the second run. Thanks for watching, have a good time, bye bye.